Good morning, guys. We're back here. Welcome to another vlog. This is vlog number 62, and it is Thursday, September 19th, and it is 8.18. A little earlier than the last two days. I just got motivated and came in here. Once I'm in here, in the room, and the computer's on, I'm good. But it's getting from the bed, then I'll go to the couch, and then I'll come in here. It's that, that, that progress, that moment in between, uh, where somehow, like, half an hour passes. Don't know how. It's crazy. Anomaly. Um, so, we talked yesterday a little bit about Shelly. Uh, the, if you're just listening, you should go check it out. It's the ghost of the auditorium that I went to high school in. The, the band auditorium, as it would be. I guess it would be the band building auditorium for the school. Who, who knows the difference, really? Anyway, I, I gave uh, last time some of my personal, like ones that I actually seen or was like around for, like personal accounts. And today I was going to give uh, specifically two more accounts uh, that I was not there for, but that was stories that was always told uh, to freshmen and or, you know, I heard secondhand that, you know, I can't, you know, say it's credible, but huh, they are more, how would you say it? Intense story, more uh, uh, out there stories. So one of them comes from the band director himself. Um, and I, I heard this story multiple times. But as the director, a lot of times he would work uh, later, you know, later in the afternoon, shut down the building, be the only one there. And it was him and one of the assistants. Uh, and they were talking. They were upstairs in the auditorium, you know, this, that, and the other. Uh, and they were turning off the lights, you know, getting ready to go. And they had came in through, I described the building a little bit yesterday, uh, the shoe room, which is one of the, it has an outside door, uh, and then it has a stairwell that goes up to the auditorium. They had came in there and had went, locked down the rest of the building, came back to that room, went upstairs, was turning off the lights, uh, so on and so forth. So they had came in that way, and the plan was to exit that way. So uh, they went, turned off the lights, they had discussion, talking, uh, ready to go, lights are off. Walking back down the, you know, the different, not alleys, but the different sides of the chairs. Uh, went down the stairwell, and as they, like, crested the bottom, it was like a spiral-esque stair staircase, um, there were stacks of chairs placed in front of the doors. Like, stacks from the band room. Because there's no chairs, or there wasn't uh, chairs in the shoe room that I know of, ever. Uh... And somehow stacks of chairs have been placed in front of the doors as like a you're not going to leave type thing. And with them being the only one there in the building, it was always a, a very like weird and uh, kind of creepy thing to uh, ghost is trapping you in kind of thing. So you never don't know the real explanation or if it was just some crazy story. But that was one of them. Another one happened uh, during a drum major session. Drum major session. La, 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 la. Um, where they were all s sitting talking and um, one of the doors to uh, the chorus room, that's where we did usually all the drum major stuff, uh, had like slam clothes. It like freaked them out a little bit, but they were all, a, a group of them, probably five people, were sitting there uh, doing some instructions, you know, going through some stuff. And someone's hair just like, a big, like, a big piece of, of hair just, like, stood up, like, came and, like, wrapped, like, from the front of their face and, like, wrapped behind their ear. Uh, and it freaked them all out because she didn't really notice it at the time. But everyone else who was, like, sitting there listening because it was the person doing the uh, instructional uh, all seen it. And it kind of freaked them all out. So that was, like, two of the ones that I didn't partially see but, you know, had heard about a lot. Uh, so I was going to take, talk about, you know, while we're on the subject, more about the auditorium and stuff that went on there. Uh, auditorium and stuff, like the whole buildings where we did band camp, uh, auditoriums where we, on the stage, did a lot of, like, different games. And, uh, after lunch, we always had, like, uh, every day during band camp for two weeks, we did theme days. Uh, and then the auditorium, usually we had an hour after lunch to do, we would do some kind of game with all the groups, some team building or... Uh, we did humans versus zombies, a uh, bunch of different things. We did uh, scenes from a hat, all kinds of crazy stuff, which was probably 
the f- most fun part about uh, camp itself. Uh, and let's see, what else happened in there? Uh, auditorium was a place known where there was a, uh, uh, I don't know if anyone else had these, there was a gross mattress backstage, and it was known that people uh, did the do on in the auditorium, would just, like sneak in and do stuff like that between classes, which was always kind of gross, knowing that there is a mattress up there. I guess it was supposed to be a prop, but yeah, gross. Uh, and what else happened? Uh, fruit Day, uh, our band sold fruit as part of, uh, you know, raising money. I was trying to think of the words I was, wanted to use. Uh, like a fundraiser, and when the fruit would come in, uh, they were like boxes, like, I don't know, 10, 15-pound boxes of fruit, and we had these metal rollers, like you would see, to, like unload trucks, and we would set them out, and we would roll fruit down, and we would stack it in piles, and this is like hundreds of like, hundreds upon hundreds of boxes of fruit, like just, there's, what, like, probably... Anywhere from like 110 to 80 people in the band my whole time there. And you were supposed to sell so many boxes. I don't remember. <sighs> I don't remember how many. But every like every box you went above that, you would could get money to put towards like trips and stuff. And I know, just like as a reference, one year I sold like 110 boxes of fruit. So... When you have 90 people like that, you can just imagine the quantity of fruit. And one of the fun things we would do is when the fruit would come in, uh, we would try to get out of classes to stay and do band stuff the whole day and unload fruit, which always was like a, a fun day, just like sneaking out of classes, uh, doing all this, that, and the other. So, But that's a few more stories uh, from band. Uh, maybe I'll get more into like camp. I'll, I'll have to like go back and look and think about Maybe pull up some of the days we had and see if I can find any pictures because we did a lot of fun stuff. Or maybe I'll go through some of the different ideas because I know some. there was some of the songs we did in the morning. Uh, I remember uh, we always had military day. and I can talk about some more of that stuff maybe next time. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.